Jules Fine Chimney suggested trying coffee at a higher altitude. So, hey Jules, here we are in a Ryanair flight somewhere above Italy. Now, on the outgoing flight, I already tried the cappuccino that promises to be delicious espresso with frothy milk and on the cup it was saying divinely frothy but it, it was absolutely <coughs> disgusting I mean soluble coffee is already disgusting but if there's anything more disgusting than soluble coffee it's soluble cappuccino it was absolutely ridiculous although I thought like it's only three euros so it seems too good to be true and so it was now for the lavazza coffee that i'm having now it claims freshly brewed italian coffee that is quite interesting isn't it how will the taste be the cup itself is already interesting it has kind of a filter system so that it doesn't spoil so my biggest question is is it soluble? Yes or no? I'm going to go and taste it now. The fact that they kind of have a filter system on top of it is not really that that promising. Actually, if I look at the color, it does seem, I don't know, understandably, after the cappuccino experience, I'm quite skeptical. Let's have a taste. Freshly brewed. Okay. At the very least, I do think it's not a soluble coffee. And actually, they brought it in a bigger thermos, so they are making a bigger batch of the coffee. So, if you if you're going for a coffee on board of a Ryanair flight, I would say go for the Lavazza, don't go for the cappuccino. Let's have a look inside, how that goes. A little bit unstable. Okay, here we go. A lot of soluble material in it, so you really need that that filter on top. It's quite it's quite peculiar. You can see it on the on the edges there. So is it? it I, I guess it is grounded with added water. Though I don't kind of understand why you then get this crema uh, look looking gassy layer on top which with the soluble coffee you would all also be able to get so I don't exactly know how the brewing method here that is but you really need that filter to protect against whatever's left behind in the cup. So, conclusion, don't bring cappuccinos on board of a Ryanair flight. The Lavazza, freshly brewed, is acceptable. You know, let's think positive, let's consider 
you know that it's an actual brewing process with actual grounds added to the uh, to the can and then water added that's nice and three euros I guess that's acceptable see you next time on a different altitude actually didn't discuss it Tastes like interesting fact on higher altitudes. I in a plane, the taste is supposedly different. Um, and you're less able to taste. Um, I would say this is quite bitter, so um, it's quite over extracted, probably, given the fact that the soluble material doesn't really, there's a lot of soluble material that they add to the cup. Um, it's not like a French press, and they're not pushing it to the bottom to kind of stop the brewing process. So I would call it a bit over extracted. Right there is kind of missing an opportunity here. I mean, having a real barista on board with a, with a real espresso machine, and milk frotting, steam, power. That that would be interesting. I guess there's a little explosive uh, danger. Might be the reason why you don't find real espresso machines on, on board of airplanes. I don't know. But from a commercial point of view, it would be quite interesting. Think about it, right? You, you could you could ask maybe ten euros for a real cappuccino. Okay? Something something to consider.